I'm just pregnant, so you just blame everything on pregnancy, right? <laughs> I am 35 weeks and three days today and I had a midwife appointment what was it two days ago yesterday two days ago and we kind of went over a lot of stuff but first I want to start with symptoms this week this week I have noticed a huge change in my skin this whole pregnancy I've had really bad skin well these last I think I even talked about it in a video these last like few weeks like three weeks maybe my skin was like really clear there was like no pimples like no breakouts nothing at all well all of a sudden I don't know if you guys can tell because I try to cover it yeah no you can still see it but I have been breaking out you can see I literally had eight zits in in one spot out of nowhere all of a sudden I got this just like huge breakout so frustrating because that my skin was like so perfect so that's really annoying I don't know if there was like some kind of hormonal change or something that made that happen or I don't know I'm just pregnant so you just blame everything on pregnancy right <laughs> another symptom that I've been having this past it's been like pretty much every single night for the last like week I've been having really 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 vivid dreams and I know that that's generally like a symptom of pregnancy but overall this whole pregnancy there has only been like a handful of vivid dreams that I could really like wake up and be like wow that was real well like last night especially and the night before um and then it seems like every day this week I've had some sort of like really really extremely vivid dream and like last night it was a dream that my water broke and I woke up thinking that my water had actually broken and I like had a mini panic attack for like four minutes like trying to figure out if that had actually happened or not so I actually felt like my water had actually broken all of these dreams this past week have been about either me going into labor labor, being in labor, or like about to go into labor, or having the baby and it being a boy. I've had more than one dream of the baby being a boy, and I have had dreams of the baby being a girl, I think like earlier in this pregnancy, but lately, like this last week or two, I've really had dreams of it. Every single time I have a dream of the baby, it's a boy. And like this last one that was really vivid, I saw the baby and it had a lot of hair. The hair was extremely blonde. He had like a full head of it and he had like the bluest eyes and he was like 10 pounds at birth, like he was huge. That was the most recent dream that I had of the baby and it was so vivid, like I can still picture it in my mind. So I've been having a lot of dreams of um, just like birth, labor and delivery. Like I said last night, I had a dream that my water had broke and I had to go to the hospital and because it's too early to obviously deliver at home right now. So I don't know, I've just been having these like really crazy dreams and they're not so much crazy as much as it is crazy that they're like so real, they feel really real. So I don't know what that means, but it's just something that I've noticed. I also noticed that my appetite has been really coming back. Thank God, finally, um, there was a time where I was I think in my last video I talked about how it was like getting kind of nauseous again. Well, this last week I have definitely had my appetite back. I feel like my taste buds are even sort of kind of going back to normal, so that's really nice. And I've also been noticing that my colostrum, TMI, my colostrum is like very much in. <laughs> like I won't even try to like squeeze any out. It'll just like be there. Like I was like putting lotion on my body earlier and there was, you could like see it. So I don't know, totally TMI. Uh, at least my body's getting ready for breastfeeding. The other symptom I've been having this week is that, and I kind of talked about this last week, but this baby is just sitting so low. I feel like every single day it gets lower and lower and lower and lower. And like yesterday, I literally felt like it was going to crawl out of me because the baby moves a lot already. And so with it being so low, I just like the cervix pain is unreal. <laughs> it's like insane. And there'll be times where I'll sit down to like pee or something and I try to get up and I'm like, nope. That's just not happening. Like, I just can't get up right now. It hurts. The pressure on my cervix is so dramatic that I cannot even move. <laughs> so that kind of goes hand in hand with my midwife appointment. I guess I'll go ahead and update with that. Everything's looking really good. We talked about, like, home birth supplies, which I am almost 100% done getting all of the home birth supplies. I have literally three more things that I need to get, and I will do a home birth video talking about, like, all the different stuff that you need for a home birth. So I'm definitely planning on doing that video. For anybody who's interested in like having a home birth or they're just curious as to what you need to have a home birth so um, I will definitely be making that video and not only that but I also finished the nursery or like 
the part of our room that is the nursery this week as well. So Chris and I spent hours like just cleaning our whole room, organizing it, organizing all the baby stuff, and we like opened a bunch of the stuff for the baby. Anything that we know for sure that we're gonna keep, we opened it out of its package, but there's some like gender specific stuff that we have, especially from his mom, and we are just keeping those in their packages. That way we can return them if needed. Back to the topic of the midwife appointment. Talked about all the home birth supplies. She did provide a birth kit for me, so I do have all that now. And it's pretty much just down to like waiting now. <laughs> I can have this baby at home any day after 37 weeks. So as soon as it's 37 weeks, we are good to go. I mentioned in last week's video, she was going to give me this like herbal supplement that was, it's called like 5W and it's supposed to like encourage your body to get ready for labor. Well, after the appointment that I just had, she told me that she does not want me to start taking that. Um, and she didn't like say this specifically, but I think we both we both kind of feel that this baby's like ready to come. I don't know how long I'm gonna be able to hold it in. Doctors and midwives and stuff like that, they always measure um, the baby to see how big your uterus is measuring. So they'll measure like from your pubic bone and they'll go all the way up to the top of your uterus. Well, I was already measuring at 36 weeks and this appointment was at 35 weeks in one day. So I'm already measuring ahead, which isn't always a huge deal, especially since it's just one week. But on top of that, my midwife always his checks to make sure that the baby's head down so she'll like grab um, like way down like by my pubic bone to try to grab the head and make sure that it is a head that she is grabbing down there so that way that she knows that the baby is not breech well the baby was so low that she couldn't even grab the head that's how low it she had a hard time grabbing the head I think she and I both kind of know that we might not make it to the due date this time so she's like I want you to hold off on taking that 5w and I want you to hold off on doing any kind of like the evening primrose oil and stuff like that that kind of like gets your body ready for labor because right now we really just want to make sure that you get to 37 weeks. I don't think she thinks I'm going to go early and I don't feel like I'm going to go early either but I don't think my body really needs help this time encouraging labor and someone also had a really good point. I think it was one of you guys that pointed out on my video that the fact that I had so much stress and so much going on at the end of my pregnancy with Landon could definitely have had a factor in me going um, overdue you know with him so because with Lilia I did have her on my due date and the twins I carried I feel like I carried them overdue because there are twins usually people have twins around 36 weeks and I carried them to almost 39 but technically I didn't go overdue pregnancy wise so that one's kind of hard to it's really hard to see like how my body really carries babies because every the only baby that wasn't affected by some like other source like the twins were multiples and then with Landon there was just like a lot going on obviously and uh, was Lilia and she was born exactly on her due date so we're gonna go ahead and hold off on those kinds of things and at this point I just want to make sure that I make it to November because I don't know if I've talked about this a lot on video but all, like all my family knows I really I don't know what it is I really just don't want to have an October baby I really want to make it to November and I think the main reason is because Landon and the twins already share the same birth month and we have big Caden's birthday this month in October and I really want him to be able to have his own birth month and this baby to have their own birth month so I'm like really really <laughs> hoping that I can have this baby in November. And after that appointment a couple days ago, now I'm like wondering if that's even gonna happen. But I don't know, I really don't think that I'm gonna go early or like especially that early. But hopefully I'm like crossing my fingers that we can have like a first week of November baby. But knowing my luck, I'll probably go like extremely overdue or going like very underdue to where I, I the baby's actually born. In October but this is gonna sound so silly but <laughs> I already have all the costumes for all the kids for Halloween and I don't know how I'm gonna fit the baby into the theme of this year's costume <laughs> that is like an irrational fear of mine but that's something that I'm like legitimately concerned about so if for some reason the baby is born before Halloween it's probably just gonna be like a pumpkin or something like completely unrelated because for one you can't really find a costume that is like that tiny at like any party store and two I don't know I don't want to like order it ahead of time and then the baby not be here yet so if I have this baby before it's probably just gonna be like a typical pumpkin or something but that's like a legitimate concern of mine I don't know that's so irrational I know the other thing that my midwife was talking to me about was that my baby is still posterior and 
this has been like an ongoing thing. She wasn't really concerned about it and she still isn't really concerned about it, but she did recommend that I look into something called spinning babies, which I have heard of and I haven't really looked into that much myself yet. So if any, if any of you guys are familiar with spinning babies, it has to do with making the baby face like the correct way for birth because right now the baby is posterior, which means that the baby's spine goes along my spine. So it is head down, it's not breech, so the head is head down, but it's facing like, okay, so the baby's curled in a ball like this, right? So the, the baby's sitting in my stomach, or in my uterus, <laughs> this way. So the spine is along the spine of mine, which makes for a more painful labor, a longer labor, if the baby stays that way up until labor, which hopefully it doesn't. So she wants me to start doing like some exercises to kind of encourage the baby to turn, although it's not like a real concern yet, but it definitely doesn't hurt to start like looking into that kind of stuff. So that's definitely something that I'm gonna start looking into this week. If anybody has any experience with that, definitely let me know. And I think that's, I think I've actually covered all of the points for this week. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys my extremely low 35 week belly. All right, so here is with the shirt on. So I don't know if you guys can tell, but there's literally like a hand. I can fit a hand in between like my ribs and my stomach now because the baby is just that low. And put the shirt up. You can see, especially with my shirt up, how like the baby's butt is just slightly above my belly button area. See, this is just all like empty space. So go ahead and measure. I haven't noticed any new stretch marks still. I don't think I will get any after how many babies I've carried in this stomach of mine, but it looks like I grew a lot. I Wasn't I 43 last week? I don't know, remind me in the comments if you remember. I'm measuring at almost 44. So like huge. So that is it for this week's video, guys. Make sure you follow me on Facebook, Snapchat, and Instagram. I'll have all those links down below. Let me know if you guys have any questions and I'll try to answer them in the comments below. But other than that, I will talk to you guys next week, or actually no, I will talk to you guys on Friday for this week's Friday video. Bye guys. We're gonna sing happy